Hey guys, Larry here again. As I was just uploading this, my last video, I looked and I got 39 videos that YouTube will not upload. They just stop it. They, they don't upload. You would think they would upload and then they would give me a strike or whatever, but they just don't even upload them. They stop it before it even gets out there. They just don't want it out there. 39 videos, little old me, just speaking the truth, straight up, in your face truth, that's what I do, I'm, I'm so fortunate, so blessed, not fortunate, I, I just feel so blessed that I can see the truth, but you know what, I've been praying for this for 20 years, give me wisdom, give me understanding, Lord, I want to know more about you. I, Give me understanding and wisdom, Lord. Give me knowledge. Help me so I can help others. Please, thank you, Lord. And it's just, it's crazy the, 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 where we're living now. 39 videos. Why don't, why don't YouTube upload them and then give me strikes and shut me down? Is that the Lord? Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Have any of y'all got videos that just, they won't upload? They just will not upload? I do it the same way every time. But it just 39 of them just, like, stopped uploading. Boop. Just won't do it. So y'all are being... You know, you all could have got a lot more truth from me if YouTube would have uploaded them. And the thing is, my phone memory, so I erase them after I try to upload them, and now I don't even have it no more. It's lost. I, all that's lost. I wish I was more computery and know how to save and archive and all that. I don't. I'm learning. But it, it's just mind-blowing how the truth is being suppressed. Shut up. Don't be telling the truth. And I've, I've done a little research just to see what YouTube puts out there. And man, there's, a, there's people upload some nasty, ornery, lying crap that probably should be deleted, but YouTube's like, yeah, go, brother. It, it, it blows my mind. We're definitely in the end times. And definitely not very many people are seeing it. I mean, there's a, 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 a few of us, you know, the remnant. It's just mind-blowing how the truth has been suppressed and people don't understand that the scriptures are changing. And and not only that, it's all kind of stuff like the Baron, Berenstain Bears. I well, know it was Berenstain. I would have made a joke about bear stains in your underwear. Berenstain. I would have done that. That's the dude I am. I would have made a joke about that. And then, you know, like I worked at Procter and Gamble with the OR for years. I had built big buildings up there, worked construction. And it was P, it was Procter with a, you know, O, not an E. Proctor, not Procter. I mean, I seen a 15 foot bar of Irish Spring or whatever they was making. I was working on the machinery that, that, produce that stuff I drove in and I seen that sign every day for two years I put concrete forms up we ganged up walls and poured walls and foundations and you know I've done everything for a living I'm a jack of all trades but I know it was Proctor with a T-R-O not T-E-R T -E -R. T I mean T Proctor with a T O R, Proctor, not Proctor. I know that. I mean, you can't say, Larry, you're stupid. No, no, no. 
I know. I know these things. Just like the Bible said, the lion shall lay down with the lamb. I, I've read that. I've noted. I've seen preaching. There's all kinds of residue, as Brian Stavely calls it, of that. And people still deny that. They're like, nope, the word of God cannot. These preachers, the word of God cannot change. <sighs> it, I don't even know what to say. It's, it's like we're living in crazy times, right? Tell me I'm wrong. Well, I'm just rambling now at this point. And I just, somewhere after talking to that pastor there in there, and we're having a wedding up here, I, I got some kind of resonance in my spirit that I'm just, it, it, I got a calming almost. Like it used to upset me that people were like, what, you don't see this? How can you not see this? Arr! Now it's like, Oh, it's all good, brother. Whatever you think, that's, you know. But I just speak my truth. And hopefully, you know, it causes people to think. But I believe, just like I got 39 videos that YouTube just stopped uploading, they won't do it. me talking to this pastor that's going to preach his wedding and telling him all this stuff it's not uploading just like YouTube it's just not uploading they, they don't even get it you know it goes like hey get born again read your Bible you absolutely need to read your Bible. I know it's changing, but you need to read the Word. And here's the thing. You pray. Ask the Lord to give you wisdom and understanding of His Scriptures and then read them. Because we need the Holy Spirit. He will lead us into all truth. If, if you don't have that unction to function within you, because we are the temple of God. God dwells in this earthen vessel and mine's got a few cracks in it it's barely hanging on <laughs> I mean no nah, it ain't barely hanging on I'm secure and grounded in the truth so yeah sounded like I'm whatever you call that contradicting myself I feel strongly in the spirit after talking to this pastor that we need to start sharing this with people. We need to be bold. Mm -hmm. We're in the end times and people need to get, I mean, even that pastor I talked to, he's like a lot of people could get saved in these end times. I'm like, I agree totally, brother. I agree. I agree with you. Well, I got to go put the tractor in the barn. I should probably get the weed eater out and knock some of these extra weeds down. So The thing is, they come up here and do these weddings and they take pictures. And it goes all over Facebook and Instagram. And, and if we look shoddy, you know, it's bad advertising. You know, we're living in a day and time. You don't have to pay to get advertising. My daughter has went to work for my ex-wife at her real estate company. And my daughter is using social media and making ads and stuff. I mean, when my wife and me first started the real estate business, we spent 20 grand a year advertising. Now she can give that money to Daisy Girl, and Daisy Girl can do it on social media and reach more people than, you know, the newspaper or the TV. So my children are awesome. They're off the hook. I got the smartest children. They're geniuses. But you know what I did? When they were babies, before they was a week old, I had them at church, and I laid them on the altar and anointed them with oil, and I said, Lord, you can have these children. They're yours. Please help me raise them. I don't know what I'm doing. And the 
you know what he did? He sent me to the library, and I got every book on how to raise a child, and I read that. And, man, I got good children. I am very proud, and I'm bragging. Yep. Very good children. They're not perfect. Who is? Are you perfect? I ain't perfect. Mm -mm. But I'm trying. And I absolutely do not go out of my way or even in any kind of a way to, I don't do anything to hurt someone. I don't intentionally hurt anyone. You, you need to lift people up. Now, you know, we got rental properties. I take care of a hundred and some rental properties. I take care of a hundred and some rental properties. I got the wedding event hall here where we do weddings. And then in, in winter, we have guided deer hunts. I take care of all that. We got two sawmills, two pallet shops. We got a dimension plant where we make like cabinet parts and different things out of wood and you know. And it keeps you busy. But my point was, I got like all these rental properties and you say, you can't judge a man, but when I go in a rental house and they're like, they need something fixed and it stinks, they got piss and shit and floor, There's, it's nasty. The last rental house I went in, the commode was leaking or something, and I went in there and I couldn't breathe. It stunk so freaking bad, I couldn't breathe, and I told the boy, I said, I can't breathe in here. You need to clean this freaking mess up, and I left. And then I told my boss, I said, I ain't fixing that, I can't breathe in there, it's a nasty mess. And he's like, okay. And I have told him that three times now. There's a few houses I just, I won't go in. They're nasty. And I told him, you know, clean it up. I'll come fix it. But I'm not going to. Like one time he sent me, and they're like, my kitchen sink ain't working. I went in the house, and there's dog piss in the floor, and there's, it's nasty. And I went and told my boss, I said, Jack, they don't need it. They don't need that sink fixed they don't even use water i told them i said you don't need this fixed you don't even use water you don't clean nothing and if that's judging that's not judging see here's the thing my dad taught me this years ago praise god praise god well, judging people people say oh you can't judge people well here's what that is i cannot tell you whether or not you're going to go to heaven or hell that is judging you but I can tell you, you're 200 pound overweight, you stink, you're lazy, you don't clean your house, you ain't taking care of your children. I absolutely can say that. And that's not judging, that's just like, <clears throat> you're a filthy, stinking mess. Get your shit together. That's not judging them. I'm not telling them they're going to hell. I don't know that. That's up to the, you and the Lord. No one can can judge another man on where they're going to spend eternity. But you damn sure can tell a guy if he stinks or he's overweight or this and that or he's lazy. You, I can judge that. I can see that. And I say it. I, I say it in love, though. And, you know, people like me because I'm good to them. You got to be good to people, even when you're calling them lazy, stinking, useless bread wasters, just wasting oxygen. <laughs> but you know what? You just be good to people. Tell them the truth. And I, I absolutely have no right at all to, to say any man's going to hell or whatever. It's not my call. Later, guys. Get born again. Keep spreading the good news, the gospel. Jesus Christ will save you. Get born again. Ask him to change you. It works. If the Lord don't heal me, I told him. I said, I ain't going to the doctor. When something happens to me, I tell the Lord, I ain't going to the doctor. If you don't heal me, then this is the way it is. It's on you, brother. <laughs> but that's me. I'm Larry. <laughs> I, I, in the last year i have learned how to enjoy being larry because i'm unique i'm awesome and i'm no better than anyone else that sounds like a contradictive statement doesn't it i'm